Hello, so just started the recording here. Um, good afternoon, evening, morning for whoever uh, would join the call later. Welcome to this uh, June 16 uh, GSOC office hour. Thank you for, for joining. Uh, for some people, it's, it's already late. So besides the heat, which is a subject here in, in Europe, but I think that in India, you're playing in a different league where you're used to much higher temperatures than, than what we complain here in Northern Europe. So um, I just would like to go round as we go usually. So we have, uh, oh, we, we have several people, I wait a couple of seconds. So we have three projects, no, four projects being represented here. So let's go around um, stand up style and see what has been achieved, done during this last week. And are there any impediments preventing to move uh, forward? So let's start with uh, Rushikesh. I hope that was nearly good. Rushikesh, go ahead. Yeah, so last week I worked on, you know, building the UI where administrators can take thrown syntaxes as input, you know, provide it as input to schedule the maintenance tasks. This week I worked on adding form validation and which throws errors on the UI if an invalid thrown syntax has been entered. Uh, then there is a save button on the UI. Once the administrator administrator clicks on the save button, the data is saved internally in an XML file. So that whenever Jenkins is restarted, the data can be retrieved from this file. So that's what I have done this, you know, this one week. So the next week's agenda is to schedule maintenance tasks by adding it into a queue for Git version greater than 2.30. Okay, very good. Uh, are is everything running as you you expect yeah, running yeah, into I troubles think. or no no troubles okay big question having fun yeah yeah full fun <laughs> it's always important okay nice to hear you uh, to hear that thank you for uh, for the update uh, there uh, following the order of uh, well, yeah, no, I, I, I can't watch the, the chat together. So if there is something I should know, say it, say it now. I'll Rush, call it you... out. I'll <laughs> call it out, Jean-Marc, no worries. Oh, okay, thank you. So let's go, let's uh, listen to what uh, Diraj has been up to. So what happened last week or, or this week and Yes, thanks a lot. So in last week, I published no, not I push my first PR to the project repository. And uh, I got to know that <laughs> it was a rather long PR. I realized it later. So I feel bad for the reviewers. Uh, it's like very long. So he suggested uh, Adrian suggested me Adrian Aditya suggested me to, you know, they, they made some comments and uh, I'm working on them. Um, and they were very, very useful uh, review comments. And um, so it might take some time. And after that, Adrian has also created another task for me uh, and added it to the milestone one under the GitHub project section that is there for uh, planning. So, so another task awaits, awaits me uh, when this one gets completed. So okay. going good. Mm -hmm. Great. So uh, I, so there is always a question I ask, do you have any impediments or things that are preventing you to move forward? Currently, uh, I don't think so. Not really, because uh, all my questions are answered by Aditya and Adrian and Jake, my mentors. Okay, great. I'd like to pick one of the points that might be of interest to the others. So you realize that your first PR was quite long. 
Yes. And it was not easy to review. Can you give us a few details there? And maybe this could be interesting for the others. Sure. How long so, was your PR? <laughs> it's uh, 985 lines of code. 925 to be exact. I can oh, okay. give you the link as well. And so it, it, uh, it actually sets up the project, then fetches the data and populates it into the database. So this can be divided into three parts. First, setting up the project, PR for that. Another one, uh, fetching the data from somewhere, from an online service. That can be PR2. PR3 can be populating that data into the database. So that's okay. how it should have been. So it would, be, it would have been easier to review. And so you had everything in one big pot. Mm, exactly. Okay. <laughs> this is something I, I still do the, the mistake myself. And this may be something interesting uh, uh, to do uh, or to, to know is uh, it's like when, when people are eating, you don't load your plate too much. So it must be in eatable chunks. Otherwise, you end up with a pile of things and the people that are going to review or would like to help you uh, on that are, are going to say, well, okay, I'll, I'll never go through uh, uh, all, all that. So it's, it's sometimes interesting to discuss with the, with the re reviewers, your, your mentors, to know what is an adequate uh, size. And the, the other hint I, I can give there, but discuss that with your, your mentors, um, is uh, you can create several PRs one after the other because each idea, each, each item, uh, uh, is, is, you, you can do as many PRs as you, we, we don't pay per PR. So it, and I, I like the comment that you made you feel you felt sorry for the reviewers so and 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 this is a very very valid point and very good point thank you Duraj. thank you for sharing also your your experience on on that that was that that was good thank you so much okay the next one in uh the list uh vihan um hello everyone you Hello, you know the questions that I'm going to ask you. So just yes. a reminder, uh, what, did, what happened last week? Uh, what do you plan to do? And do you have any uh, impediments or difficulties or worries? Um, yes, so I started working on the task one, which was then my Jira, which was to create uh, a sidebar, a separate sidebar for uh, the documentation. And that has been going quite well. So I have put up the first full request of the project and there have already been a lot of uh, comments about it. And I've also pushed another commit to address those. Um, so yeah, I got some help from Tim as well uh, with regards to what can be the possible uh, ways to do it. And today I think I was able to get a more finished version done and pushed. So I think in this week we can, if, uh, if the reviewers agree, we can close the pull request and I can move on to the second task next week. Okay, so I see that you're progressing, you're, you're, that's, that's good. Any worries or difficulties that we should know about? Um, not really. So uh, any things, any, any worries, issues, I've already asked on the GitHub or the Gitter. So I think everything is going smoothly. Good, good. Okay, nice to nice to hear that. So good progress there. Uh, Yiming. So uh, you, you you know the ritual, the stand up ritual. So nice to have you on board uh, on this call. So what happened last week? Oh, okay. Thanks for asking. Uh, I finished designing the uh, function structure last week. Uh, but it is. It seems that I need to redesign the feature now because I didn't meet the need of the uh, project uh, maintainer. Uh, our expectations uh, are pretty different. So, uh, but now uh, we just came into a agreement at the channel discussion about uh, what the feature needs to be. You can see it in the in our channel, and, and I'm coding now based on the expectation. Uh, so I will start uh, 
a proof of concept project firstly to show them and understand the concept uh, completely. Okay. Thank yeah. you, Yiming, for for sharing sharing that. I, I I've been involved in that uh, discussion. Um, so and and we'll have a discussion tomorrow there to make that progress. Um, there are a few lessons that I'd like to share uh, about that and things to know. The first one: uh, there's no wrong answer. So uh, we're working uh, together. And what is very important is that you share what your intention is, what you want to do, and people uh, can react to it. And it can be discussed and negotiated. And see, I see it more like this. I, I see it more like that. Um, need to think now. Uh, what I, I'm cautious is in what I, I react to in the way you explain it is I did not meet the expectations uh, or the requirement from I'd like to put some 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 a, a, a grain of salt uh, there and say um, don't don't stop uh, to that. It's important that we listen to each other and that we correctly understand the various arguments. Uh, do, do you uh, understand my point, Yiming? Yeah, yeah, I understand. The re the reason why I say like that, say that, like, say like that, is that uh, our our expectation is on totally different directions. So that's what I want to say. Okay. And this is perfectly okay. It's not because somebody else has another opinion and view that your view is wrong. It's only let's discuss it together. And, and Chris, uh, your, uh, one of your mentors is also there. I can join into the discussion. Let's put our heads together. And what my my goal is, and I shared that also on, on some channels uh, there, my goal is that you learn how it works, how what is the process of thinking uh, together. Working on open source is not as when you work in a company or for uh, in a paying company. It's a yeah. different process. And this is what I want uh you know, i know I, who am i but that we want uh that you experiment learn uh, uh there so on do you understand that point yeah you are right the <clears throat> the process in the companies uh is different so the most of the design works can be uh done by the product manager so uh in the open source program uh it seems that i uh, the contributors need to take care of it, right? And and um, we're going to see. I'm. I, I will discuss with with Chris and the rest of the team. I will also discuss with Oleg. Uh, I'd like to have a compromise uh, there, and that everybody agrees on uh, on what to do, the objectives, and don't forget. It's your project. It's with your mentors. Okay. Okay. Well, let's okay. see in in practice how how it is, how it goes. Uh, 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 in the case of Oleg, Oleg has some some very strong opinions because uh, he has. Uh, Oleg is joining right now here. So, uh, hello, Oleg. You can listen to the recording afterwards so that you know what the point yes, is. Sir. So in a, in a summary, what, what I said is that it's important that the opinions are shared openly and that you find an agreement uh, together. And I was just going to add that for you, Oleg, this project is very important for two reasons. First, because Oleg put an immense amount of energy 
to make that project achieve that result. And the other thing, Oleg has very high standards uh, in, uh, in quality. Now, as I said before, this is your project. And there may be differences and let's discuss them together. And tomorrow we'll have a meeting where we'll, we'll find. So what is very important, and, and this I agree with, with Oleg is, the ideas, what you intend to do, the plan and all that needs to be um, written down so that everybody can see, discuss, eventually uh, advise you in, and uh, guide you where to go. Is that okay, Yiming? Yeah, I also want to make make uh, make this feature have a uh, high quality uh, as Oleg that, right? Okay, so don't worry. We'll have a discussion tomorrow between mentors. And I want to have first between mentors that we have a consensus that we know how we're going uh, to steer that for the best of, uh, of everybody. And then we'll have a discussion uh, or your mentors will uh, uh, have the discussion with you to see uh, how this will, be, this will be done. Okay, great. Don't worry. The purpose is to have fun and to learn things as the, the others uh, uh, have, uh, have had. Um, I think we went now around uh, the various projects. I have the status. Uh, are there general questions, comments, or uh, statements uh, to do? I open the floor to anybody. So I have one point that I'd like to add. I, I leave a few seconds more. So if somebody wants to speak up. So um, well, I, I will basically have three. So um, first thing is that uh, I'm going to reach out to everybody. Uh, so to um, contributors and to mentors individually, I'm going to set up a one-on-one -on -one with, uh, with each of you and we're going to set up and that we can have a private conversation together. I want to be sure that there are no worries or, or you know, I'm looking for stones in the shoe. You might not realize that uh, the stone is there, but if we don't remove that stone during the summer, you're going to end up with a very sore foot. And this is not what we as org admin uh, want to have. And I think it might be easier for you to have this one-on-one -on -one conversation. I will organize that uh, at a convenient time to, uh, uh, for, for everybody. Uh, end of June, start of, uh, of July. And uh, so this one point, a uh, reminder, um, we're going to have, uh, and discuss that with your mentors, uh, we're going to have end of July, an intermediate checkpoint. There's one that's formal for Google uh, that needs to be done. And the other is we're going to have an informal checkpoint. As I said, uh, I'm going to ask uh, every uh, contributor to make a small presentation of his project, what has been done, and um, uh, eventually a demo or, or so. It will be a 10 minute presentation. Don't be scared because I, I, I know that uh, it can be uh, a sc a scary, especially if we open up the audience. Uh, it has so don't be don't don't worry. Your mentors are there to help. I can help you also uh, for that. But your mentors are, are there to train, to know what to say, how to say, uh, and and so on. 
it's important for two reasons. One reason is um, it's part of the training of the GSOC training to learn how to do these, these, uh, these kind of things. And the second thing is to draw attention from the community on the work that you're doing uh, but because you can you can be uh, proud of what you of what you do and, and you can honestly brag about it and don't be shy uh, uh, about that. But the other thing is also to attract support and also ideas or recommendations. And uh, it, and it happened already previous uh, years that suddenly a project got uh, attention and some very useful ideas were added. Uh, to uh, to the project. Last thing, important takeaway that I liked very much, uh, and what Raj uh, uh, raised on uh, on the thing is a very common mistake uh, 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 that I do myself too is don't overload your PRs. Don't make them huge. Just envision a plate where you have a lot of food on it. It will fall off, and when you bring it on the table of your guest, you're going to scare them. <laughs> so, unless you're a good eater like I, I, I am, but this is another story. But try to make small PRs. This is this gets it really very efficient, and, and so and and, and let, let's share also these kind kind of experience what what works, and so on. Okay. Uh, Last call, is there somebody who wants to add something or needs to, to, to add? Then we're going to end the call and I will request the help from Elisa that's on the call to process the video recordings so that we can put them uh, online after that time I can't. You got it. I'll work <laughs> on it later today. Great. Thank you very much, Elisa. Yep. I wish you all uh, a nice end of the day, a lot of fun with your projects and continue like that. Looks really, really great for you. Okay. Bye bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye.